Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Thank you for watching. Today I'm gonna show you guys everything about this car. I'm gonna go into detail. I'm gonna show you guys the exterior and interior plus including the engine bay of what I've done to this car. The last walkthrough that I have done on this car was probably back in 2000 and I wanna say 11, 2010, 2011. That was a full walkthrough back then of what I've done to the car at that moment in time. But today I want to make a video all about what I have done recently, uh, where I am right now with the car and discussing future plans with the car. So let's get into detail. Let me show you guys everything from the exterior. Let's start off with the exterior first and then we'll get into detail with the interior. So let's go ahead and discuss the front end of this car here and what we're looking at. So to start it off, let's talk about the headlights. These headlights are my third set. My first set I made back in 2014, I had customized them. Then I gave them away to a friend for like a barter deal where he hooked up my uh, interior of my lights and I gave him those headlights. Then uh, my second one, they, um, they, uh, they got flimsy, they got dirty. Oh no, the lens was very dirty. So I, I still have them, they're up there somewhere. But uh, this is my third set and I have done nothing to them. I kept them stock. Um, still debating if I should customize them. Uh, I have a few of the items to start it off with that it came from Korea, as in the LED components, but I haven't done that yet. Um, still debating if I should or not, or just take out the uh, second one, the headlights that are up there, and remove the lens and put these lens just to save time and, and still have that black interior and chrome headlights. But uh, so those are stock. Then what we have here, uh, this is actually a, my second bumper. The first bumper that I had was damaged. Uh, it got, it was ruined on the fog light section. So um, I wrapped this part right here because this is the limited 3.3 Hyundai Sonata. The, um, the limiteds always have a chrome trim here. They didn't like the chrome trim, so I wrapped it in white. Same goes over there. Uh, I wrapped, I think I did, yeah, I wrapped this as well. No, that's painted. This is painted, this is painted, this is painted. So I painted this along with the hood because the hood was terrible. I'll see if I can post a photo of it, how it used to look. But the um, uh, this uh, grill here, this is a uh, S&S grill. I just put a road runs emblem there just because it looks good. I was very glad and fortunate that I received this black honeycomb uh, mesh there for the grill. And then when we look below here, this wrap right here I did myself, but there's a little edge, if you can see it right there, that's missing. That's because I didn't remove that black piece right here. So it left a little space, but that's fine. Uh, it's not noticeable, only if I point it out. Then we have this right here. I'll put all the stuff that I can on my description, where I purchased it, how much I purchased it for. Uh, I believe this right here was a one piece. I paid about, I want to say 40 bucks, but I'll put the link below so you can see where I got it. Uh, this is a two piece. Actually, no, it's a four piece. It's a one, then the red. That's a two piece. This section right here is a three piece, and then the other section is a four piece. Uh, it's a lip spoiler. And then I also uh, I, um, tinted the fog lights. I had them blue, they didn't like them. I like that black and, black, black and white concept with a little bit of red. That's why I got this. I had an original, my original spoiler was a, was a three piece as well, but I didn't like it because it wasn't thick. This I like because it's thick. The one that I had before was very thin and looked flimsy. But this one, I love it. Gives it more of a depth look onto your front bumper. Let's see if I can do it sideways. See that? I like that. It gives it more of a full piece. All right, so now let's go ahead with the wheels. What wheels are we looking at here? These wheels are Hyundai Genesis 2009 to 2013 uh, Coupe. These are the R-Spec wheels. I got them for $500. Excuse me, 500. I got them for like about a hundred dollars. 
but then I had to pay about 400 uh, to get them painted. I bought them off Craigslist. Uh, I found the guy in upstate New York. It took me about two hours to get there. Uh, that was well worth it because I got four wheels for 100 bucks. Now, they had plastic dip in them. They looked garbage. The person that was selling it to me saw them as a, as a oh, you know, I, if I want to make more money, I have to peel off the plastic dip. So that's the reason why he did them low, but I didn't mind him. To, uh, I didn't mind the plastic dip because I knew I was gonna get them removed. I dealt with plastic dip so much, so many times that I know how to remove them. But I went to a paint job around my way, um, and they were uh, what was it called? Uh, I can't remember the name, but um, again, I'll see if I can put that the name of that company where I got these wheels done. But the powder, pack, there you go. He, uh, they were able to sand down the plastic dip and then powder black these rims here. Very beautiful. These lug nuts, they are Gorilla lug nuts. Those lug nuts are, uh, they look regular, but they're not. You need an actual key to remove these. That's why I love them because they're, they match the wheels and uh, you can't tell they look like they're just regular generic lug nuts, but they're not. They're very expensive. I believe I paid about $50, uh, $50 for them, but they match the wheels and they look flush with them, so that's the reason why I bought them. Uh, what else here? And this is just an app. Air valve. And what we have here, these wheels are some cheap wheels. I'm not even gonna discuss them. Uh, I just buy them because I go through wheels like it's nothing. I go through them every once a year or maybe uh, close to a year and a half. Um, cause I'm always driving everywhere in my house. It takes me 20 minutes just to get to a local store. So that's one of the drawbacks of living here in the state of Pennsylvania, but I love it cause it's very, very quiet. You hear that? Those are my friends. That's Jimmy D Cricket. Pinocchio's coming out soon. Bambi's going to be here in the next 20 minutes. Cinderella sleeping. No, not Cinderella. Snow White. She's taking a nap right now. So that's my life here in the state of Pennsylvania. Am I going to complain? No way, because I'm able to do all this stuff quietly without any disturbance. But let's go ahead and see what we have here. Oh, I forgot to say that these are 19 inch rims. Uh, I painted the calipers a long, long time ago. I want to say close to nine years ago. So that's why they're faded there. But it does say number NYC. It's one of the mods, my mods. That's one of the things that I've done to this car uh, when I first started. Uh, these are R1 Concept black um, rotors. Uh, they look faded now. I would say in the end of this, at the end of this year, I'm gonna need new rotors for the front. Uh, do I need them for the back? No, just the front. But yeah, the car looks very beautiful. Now let's go ahead and let's discuss what we see here. This right here, these are um, wrapped in gloss black. The bottom trim here, just to give it more of a nice black and white theme here that goes with the lip spoiler and it goes with the roof. As you can see, I also roofed, I wrapped the uh, roof myself. Again, it's in videos. I'll try to link everything in the description as much as I could. So it might be a long description uh, with links and everything just for you guys to see if you guys are interested in what I've done to this car or you're interested in where I bought these stuff. They are available again. Some of these stuff I had purchased years ago, like that side view mirror. It's very hard to find a side view mirror. It's very hard to find grills now, um, custom headlights, all that stuff. You can't find them anymore because for some reason no one's doing it for the Hyundai Sonata. This is another Road Run uh, emblem that I purchased. Now, these Road Run uh, emblems, I got that two sets. One is on the other side, plus the grill one, and also two sets of these so these are foldable you can also you can do it manually or you can do it with electronic but however uh, I have the module to install it but my problem is it's in Korean So I'm gonna have a hard time doing this. A 
let's go with the back. I'm not gonna do the other side because pretty much the other side is exactly what you see here. But I will do a full walk around when I have the car parked outside. Just that right now, I'm more comfortable doing it here in the interior of my garage and discussing the car without getting hit by the sun. So these emblems here, I had just finished installing the gold one. Facebook, find me on Facebook, find me on YouTube, and find me on Instagram. Now with this emblem here. This is a loading emblem. Got that in KI, KAI, or is it KIA? Can't remember. Then what we have here, this is pretty much just an uh, eBay emblem. I should have removed that and put the uh, road runs there. It would have looked a lot better. But either way, that's fine. That emblem, I, put, I think I paid about 35 bucks for it. It's an expensive emblem. And I also painted it. That's right. That's what I did. Spoiler. I've had the spoiler now for a good four years because the white one, had I had burr poop on the side right here and I never cleaned it. And waited about a couple of days. Next thing you know, when I decided to remove it, it burned through the paint. Uh, I tried to plastic dip it, but the hole was still there, so I just threw it away and got a new one. I said, for, instead of getting it in white, let me just get it in black because it goes with the car. Now the uh, the um, tail lights. These are Lux Gen tail lights. No, these are Super Lux. I think they're Super Lux. I can't remember. Yeah, these are Super Lux. Super Lux tail lights, I believe they're. I bought it for like three fifty, but now because there's only, I think there's only one in the market now. That one's going for like around five fifty. I want to say five fifty. I did miss out on the uh, side view mirrors here. The one that I wanted was the one that folds up like a seagull. I believe Hans. Uh, I'm not sure if I should say his full name. I think his tag name is HMR, I want to say. He's the one with the silver uh, Sonata. That one looks very beautiful. And he has those uh, head, uh, side room mirrors that I want. I've done nothing to the uh, exhaust tips, but I did paint this right here. I painted it with Plasti Dip just to give it that concept because it's actually just a one piece. You see those little scratches there? Somebody hit me when I was driving, and when they hit me, uh, I was able to. Uh, the guy gave me about three to four hundred dollars, so he just squashed the accident there. He uh, he PayPal'd me, so I took that money and I invested in a brand new bumper instead of investing in a back bumper, the bumper that he hit. I invested in the front bumper, plus the grill um, and all the goodies. All right, guys, so now let me pause the video and let's get inside the interior. Oh, little piece right here. So I wrapped this years ago and it still looks great. Got a little dent right there. Yep. That's cool. <laughs> and then I plastic dip this part right here because, again, this is the limited version. The limited 3.3 v6 has chrome pieces everywhere like this one right here look you can see this is just the piece left this is dirty i haven't cleaned the car um right here that's the original chrome piece this is plastic dip i can just peel this off if i wanted to but for the sake of this video let's just go inside the interior of the car okay so what am i looking at here so if you see this original color, this is the factory color. This is what the car came with. It came with cream interior with brown. What did I do? I purchased all four different doors. Not the actual old door, just the door cover here, this door trim. Uh, this is the black version. I think it's called Coco, black Coco, something like that. So this did not come with my car. The same goes with these seats. My seats were all beige leather. This is 
cocoa black leather with cloth inside right here, but this is leather. But let's go ahead and discuss what we're looking at here. So yes, I was, I purchased the black ones off eBay. I think each one was about a hundred dollars. So you're looking at four hundred dollar door covers. But then what I did here is I wrapped this carbon fiber. Well, it's the carbon fiber gloss. It's not really carbon fiber, but it gives it that nice look. Blue LEDs, love it. When I open the door, those turn on. What we have here, these are also LEDs. I can't remember the uh, temperature color. I, I want to say these are 3K, 4K. They're not 5K. No, or maybe they are 5K. But they match. Because I haven't, I think I purchased those a good 10 years ago. These are Hyundai Genesis, the same year as those wheels there, 2009-2013. These are the uh, brown leather interiors from the R-Spec model. As you can see here, if I didn't point it out, a lot of people don't see it, but there was a huge cut here. And I was very lazy to use that kit that I purchased. been very lazy to use that kit to um, fill in that hole, but I just let it be. But I do love them. They would look beautiful in this car here. Perfect size too. What we have here, this, I love this because you can always, I'm a family of four here. So these two cup holders and the two in the other, in the back over there, don't do justice. We always need a little bit more. So I have one here for a cup holder. It fits perfectly when you have this door closed. These are my head, uh, my uh, sunshades, and this is my wallet here. Again, the car is dirty. I should have done a very thorough cleaning when I uh, when I was planning on this walkthrough video, but it is what it is. The uh, steering wheel is from a Hyundai Azera, uh, two thousand and nine. Uh, excuse me, two thousand and six, two thousand and ten. Hyundai Acera steering wheel, the brown. I wish I uh, if they had came out with like a black gloss or a black carbon fiber because it would look great with the uh, door trim here. Those are Hyundai Tiburon, Tiburon uh, pedals there. They look beautiful on the Hyundai Sonata. Again, some of these uh, parts might be hard for you guys to find now just because it's been a good 10 years that I don't think they make them anymore. But if you are planning on getting something like that, the Hyundai Tiburon, I believe these are the 2005 models. Um, look them up. Uh, see if you can find them. We'll go to a dealer, see if, if they can order them for you. So let's go inside. This is my flip key. For that video that's why it looks like they're blinking but they're not really blinking these come blue yellow see in the video they look like they're blinking but they're not really blinking it's just in the i guess it's because of the uh, led recording purple white red in blue. Let's leave it out blue. Okay. This is the new generation uh, Apple TV here. Uh, Apple TV. Uh, the iPad. Uh, I want to see the uh, iPad 5. Each time I turn on the car, the second thing I do is I press this button here. And once that turns blue, that tells me my iPad is sync. So now, all I gotta do is just press play. So yeah. So when I'm with the kids, 
The kids enjoy watching Clarence. I love Clarence, the cartoon show. Uh, what do we else do we have here? So this is a um, Belkin Bluetooth. This can also work with your phone. Uh, somebody calls you, you can press this button and your phone uh, picks it up. You can end the call with it. Uh, the only thing I'm going to be honest with you is that there are times when I'm on the highway and I'm doing a, over 70 and somebody calls me. Uh, they have a hard time hearing me. Even with the windows closed and everything, they still have a hard time hearing me because I believe the car itself, the airwave, even if I close the air vents, for some reason, just that road noise that you can hear through the steering wheel I'm doing, or just because of the car, uh, they have hard times listening or hearing me when I'm talking. They, I always have to repeat myself. So that is a drawback of this. But you know what? It's just very convenient. I'm pressing this button and get into here, uh, letting, letting the, uh, your passengers hear what you're watching or hear music through your phone. This right here is from my phone. My The back of my phone has a magnet, so I just leave it here when I'm driving. So I can control my music either through my cell phone or the iPad. The iPad runs through a um, hotspot through my phone. So all I gotta do is just press a button and now my iPad has uh, internet through my phone and I can watch YouTube music videos or whatever I want, whatever the kids want, Netflix. Let's see what we have here little scratches there that's because when they had to remove my old seats to put in the new ones or the new ones to put it in here they were scratching it up that little thing right there is the same thing that you see here i will put the link below that's good pretty. what else do i have So these black interior seats, the, they are from a Hyundai Sonata SE model. The SE model have half leather, half uh, cloth, and that's what you see here. I have two grown boys. Well, one is grown. One is turning 12 and the other one's turning five. So it's always messy here. But I do love the contrast of black and cream in the interior. So the map lights, I want to say they are, uh, they are 5K, but I may be wrong. I don't think they're 3K because 3K has that yellow hue. I do, yeah, these are 5K. They're not 6K because 6K has that blue hue. These are 5K LEDs that match those. This is, again, this is a, this is a loading emblem. I got this to match my exterior emblem that's in the rear that I just showed you guys. So now let me uh, end the video and just do a, a full walk around of the car. Okay. I completely forgot about the engine bay here. Everything here is all cosmetic except for that strut bar here. I paid about $200 for it. It took about two weeks to arrive. Love it. I love the way that this car handles because of that strut bar. I don't feel like I'm riding a boat. This was like about 10 bucks. Nothing much. And it's not a V6. It's a V. Because the 6 is missing. This was expensive. I paid $50 for this oil engine cap. This engine oil cap is from Mishimoto. And I paid a good 50 bucks for it. I don't know why. I think it was because of that red. It was incisive. Uh, let's see. Yeah, not much of this car. Again, this car is filthy. It's dirty. But what can I say? What can I do? And that's it. Uh, just always maintaining this car. As you've seen in my videos. Doing the, the um, oxygen sensors and the spark plugs. The coils. But speaking about coils, let's talk about these SMA suspension uh, coilovers. So this car is dropped. I bought the SMA suspension from Korea. These coilovers cost me about $2,000, uh, not including shipping. 
I, I want to say I purchased them back in 2014. They can go lower, but I choose not to go too low just because my back wheel here will start scratching. Again, I have, I'm a family of four, so I'm always riding with the kids, and the kids are in the back, plus we in the trunk if we ever buy things. When we do buy things, excuse me, um, the, uh, the, it starts scratching in the rear, and I don't like that. These tents are not legal. Uh, I will get tickets, but I do my <laughs> do my very best uh, to scroll down the windows when I see cops. This right here, these are wrapped. I wrapped them years ago. Gloss black. I peeled off the uh, matte finish and then wrapped them in gloss to match the uh, roof there and to match the wheels. That's why I also wrapped that in black gloss to give it that nice, sexy panda bear, zebra, or whatever animal that's also black and white. Okay, so now let me pull out the car here so you guys gonna have a full walkthrough. Okay, so this is the full walkthrough of this beautiful black white Hyundai Sonata 3.3 V6 engine beauty here. very pretty for its year it's already going to reach its 12th year it's already at its 11th year 11th year almost I wouldn't say it's almost over but it's there it's reaching its 12th so right now it looks like the back wheel is high just because of the car my my house is slanted straight down and a little curved to the side so my car right now because it's dropped all that pressure it's going towards the front so this is raises up a little bit normally it's low so this yeah i believe i already showed this these stickers i think i paid about ten dollars each on ebay all, all i had to do was just tell them what i wanted what color what font i did it on ebay I'll put the link below on the the, uh, the account that I pers purchased it from. But yeah, um, guys, just write comments on the uh, comments below and let me know what you guys think about this car. Um, what are the good things that I've done to this car? What do you think are the bad things? I mean, this is the internet you guys are gonna say good things some are gonna say bad things it's fine this is my car i live with it i've lived with it for 11 years so whatever you guys have to say about it good or bad i take it and i appreciate it i do wish i did did do the headlights because the headlights would look very pretty with that black white concept all right well it is what it is Guys, this is my Hyundai Sonata. This is the Mark Bryce project. This is Mark Bryce, guys. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, let me know what you guys think. All right, guys. I'll catch you soon.